Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. We are going to be looking at the 411 on your connection. What do you need to know about what's happening for you in love, how you feel about each other, uh, any hidden factors, challenges, any insight into the future of the connection. All of that will be in this reading. As always, Aries, it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching 100%. Not every reading that I do will be for you. So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Um, check out the playlist linked in the description box. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked there so you could check your other placements. And let's jump right in for Aries. Spirit changes, guys. What's going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love? So this deck that I'm shuffling is going to have upright and reverse and the deck that I used to clarify will have all upright to give us more clarity and I'm using a special spread that I've been using for the other signs for this month and so far I've been enjoying it. Um, let me know if you like this format. All right, Spirit, let's see. For Aries, what does Aries need to know in terms of love? So let's talk about what's been going on in your connection here. Four of Pentacles. King of Swords. Well, these two cards are kind of kind of um, opposites in a way. Uh, the King of Swords is very direct, clear, communicator, very intelligent, very um, wise, analytical. I feel like the fourth coin here is like someone that's not as open, not as communicative, not as expressive i guess so i feel like there maybe this is by the way everything that's going to be on this spread is going to be a mix of you and your person's energies aries because it's your connection both of you are there um so this could be um how one of you is approaching something and then the other one's not on the same wavelength i guess we'll see when we clarify but I, i'm getting like opposites energy like one of you is willing to communicate and be honest, and then the other one is just not as open. Any insight on this? Challenges, obstacles, five of coin with the magician. Interesting. I feel like someone here is trying to make something happen. We'll have to see what that magician's all about, but I feel like this is like, I feel like someone doesn't want to struggle anymore because I have the five of coin here. So this is a, a card about um, being out in the cold or feeling left behind or, you know, missing something, needing help, struggling, you know. So I feel like this this magician energy is, is dealing with that, like trying to fix that, help that. We'll see. How do you feel about this person? Six of swords, page of swords. Wow, all upright so far. Interesting. You've gotten all upright cards so far in this deck. Six of Swords, Page of Swords. So you want to talk. I feel like you want to, you have something to say. What? How does this person feel about you? Ten of Wands, Reverse. Two of Wands, okay. So this person is dropping a bird in here, no longer wanting to deal with something or no longer dealing with something that's been weighing them down. Um, with the Two of Wands here, it's almost like maybe this person has to make a decision about you. Um, or there's a path this person has to choose and this is related to you in some way. So what? Where, where is all of this headed? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Cups reverse. Oh my goodness. Well, this is clearly a return. Um, I feel like there is um, like a, I'm, I'm picturing like literally a wheel, like something starting back up again someone coming back to where they started that kind of energy we'll have to see and any hidden factors or things you need to know about this the high priest is reversed and temperance sagittarius energy so high priest is reversed this is some someone uh something being revealed known some someone speaking up resolution Harmony with the Temperance card, something that's being worked on to bring back balance, to bring back harmony. 
I feel like someone speaking up is going to resolve this this problem. That's what I'm seeing so far. So why is all of this happening? Death. Scorpio energy. So something's ending or changing either on in your life or in this person's life and it's bringing about some sort of change in this connection. Very interesting Aries. I think it's fascinating honestly that you didn't get that many um, reversals when I do have reversals in this deck. Maybe not a ton, but they're they're in here for sure. They're in here. Okay, so let's see. Let's get my little clarifying deck here and get to the bottom of this. All right, spare any clarity guidance, please, for Aries. What do we need to know about this situation for Aries? Well, let's start with the death card because that's like the root, the foundation of everything, why everything is happening. Why is death here? What can you tell me about death? King of Pentacles. Tell me about death. Four of Swords. Tell me about death. Why is death here for Aries? Queen of Cups. One more, please. One more, please. Why is death here? I'm not going to clarify every single card. Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck, Four of Cups. Interesting. Well, when I saw this Queen of Cups, I thought someone's in love or someone has feelings for another person. And um, I feel like this person has held back these feelings. Um, maybe because they're not supposed to be doing feeling that way or observing this other person or feeling the way they do for this other person there's something a bit off about it perhaps now with the four of swords here i feel like someone has been <clears throat> thinking about something a lot planning something is, is kind of what i'm getting i'm getting like very hermit energy here tell me about the four of swords why is the four of swords here Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's wondering about the future of something, the outcome of something, if something's going to work out here. Interesting. So I'm still trying to get, you know, my head around, is this someone that has gone through a change like on their own like are they going through a personal change of like the way they think the way they approach a problem or is something in their life changing or ending right i feel like someone is still thinking about this i don't think this has actually happened because i think for some reason there is a chance that this will not happen the way that someone hopes Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ace of Cups. Yeah, someone's, someone I feel is having feelings that they shouldn't be having. Or perhaps the feelings that they're having is almost like, you know, if they want to act on those feelings, they have to do something that's maybe not so ethical, not so great. There's the Hermit, bottom of the deck. That's kind of the energy I've been picking up. It's someone that's really thinking about things. With the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Hermit, I feel like this is someone that's really thinking about something. Virgo energy. But I still don't get the sense. These are thinkers. These are not doers. So I'm thinking someone's thinking about ending something in their life for love. Let's see. Tell me about this Four of Coin over here. Why is the Four of Coin over here? Tell me about the Four of Coins. Feel free to flip these energies, um, Aries, if they resonate more for you. Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles on the board. Why is the Four of Coin here? Oh. Wow, Wheel of Fortune again. We got the Wheel of Fortune twice. Justice, Libra Energy, and the Queen of Wands. Another Queen.
I feel like this is the person that wants to make things right. Remember when I was um, talking, when I first put down these cards down here, the magician with the five of pentacles, like someone wanting to fix something. I think that's what this is up here. Like someone's wanting to maybe fix the problem. Eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the king of swords. This is what's happening in your um, connection right now. Or the situation. Tell me about the King of Swords. King of Swords. Clarify by the King of Swords. <laughs> Can I get one more please for the King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? Queen of Swords. My God. Okay. Um. Wow. Wow. Ten of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands reversed down here. I think this is going to be one of those readings where you don't really find out what's going on until, like the, <laughs> until you really go through the positions here of the spread. Because I'm thinking here with the King of Swords, Queen of Swords, someone is addressing something in a very clear, concise way. Or someone's cutting something out deliberately here. Tell me about this. King of Swords. Can I get one more about the King of Swords? If it's not someone cutting something out of their life, they're having to say something very important, address something very important in a, in a specific way. Tell me about the King of Swords. Two of Wands. That's your person's energy. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. I love how all of this is kind of coming together. Um... So this is what I'm seeing so far, Aries. I think this is your person, this King of Swords. I think they are cutting something out of their life or having or looking at something in a very honest way. And it's leading to a decision that they have to make here with the Two of Wands. They have to choose a path. Tell me about the Magician. And then over here... This Queen of Wands, I, I feel this is you, this Queen of Wands. I feel like you are the person that they want to fix something with or address something with. But who is this Queen of Pentacles? You know, I'm a little confused about that. We'll see. Tell me about the Magician. What's this Magician about, Spirit? What's the Magician about? The Ten of Swords. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely some... Okay, so this person has to end something. There's something here about the ending of something. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's working on ending something. Putting an effort here on ending something. Yep. Nine of Cups. Because there's something else that they want. And there's a three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So they could be working on something here, making moves, um, trying to make decisions here. And I feel like whoever's doing that, it's like they shouldn't be doing that. Or they feel like, you know, maybe they feel guilty about this. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Strength, Leo energy. So I feel like this is someone that's having a hard time. And it makes sense because the Ten of Wands is reversed here. So someone's carrying a burden. And I feel the burden is half guilt, <laughs> half like um, like difficulty. This is very interesting. So let's see how you're feeling or thinking about each other. Let's get some insight. Spirit, give me some insight for Aries and this other person. Give me some insight, please, for Aries and this other person. Tell me about Aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection. Tell me about Aries, please, Spirit. Aries, you have the Six of Swords here. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Oops, I got two. Deep regret and coming together. Yeah. Your person has regrets, and I feel like there is some something coming together here with that with that uh, eight of cups reverse in the wheel. 
They're probably thinking about reuniting with you, coming together with you, regretting what happened, if anything happened between you and this person. I feel like it did. I almost feel like this could be somebody coming over to talk. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords here. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. Why is the Six of Swords with the Page of Swords? The Sun. Yeah. Okay. So I feel, okay, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's going to be some clarity that's coming, um, Aries. Either you're going to be very clear with this person about something like during a conversation or they're going to be very clear about something with you. Um, I feel like hearing from this person would make you very happy. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords? They could be coming to visit you. Eight of Cups. Wow, Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Okay, so I'm seeing two very different things. I have the tower at the bottom of the deck. I have two different messages here. The, the first message is that this is someone that already left. They already walked away. And maybe they want to talk about what happened there. For others of you, oh, by the way, actually, that is the message. It's just two versions of that. So this is someone I feel like wants to talk to you about a departure, but I don't know if it's a departure that they had, you know, regarding you, like they walked away from you or a departure where they left someone else. That's why there's like two different messages here, but I think this is going to give you clarity. Tell me about the 10 of wands reverse and the two of wands. Nine of Wands and Five of Swords. Can I get one more for the Ten of Wands reverse and the Two of Wands? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person was dealing with something very difficult. I have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo Energy, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. They've been really thinking about what to tell you. I think they're gonna tell you um, that they're single or free of something. I think that they're going to tell you that they have regrets. <clears throat> so let's see. Tell me about this High Priestess reverse. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Oh my God, clarify by the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess reverse? <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is something that was held back is, is going to be revealed here. Death again, Scorpio energy. Interesting. Something ended and there was like, um, like, I think this was probably happening behind the scenes and I think you're going to find out about it, Aries. I don't know if this is with you. I think this could be something that happened elsewhere. There's a six of swords again. Yeah, it's almost like someone's going to tell you that they left a situation um, or something has changed. Tell me about temperance. Yep, the fool. So this is about starting, yeah, this is this is an ending for a new beginning. This is walking away from something to head somewhere new. And I feel like for some reason, the energy I'm picking up is like, this person knew exactly where they were headed when they had this ending. Now Aries, of course, it's gonna be up to you if you welcome this person back or if you even wanna listen to what this person has to say. Because I think if they left to go somewhere else, it probably wasn't a good place to be. They have regrets. Okay, we have the chariot, the world, knight of swords. Yeah, this is someone that wants to move forward into something new. Um, and I have here the wheel with the eight of cups reversed. So this could be like a, um, a return in divine timing or something like that. Hold on, got the hermit that fell again. Virgo energy, the chariot. I'm going to put these back because I didn't really ask my question yet. Um, Spirit, tell me about the wheel. That chariot wants to come out though. <laughs> Can you tell me about the wheel, please? Why is the wheel of fortune here? What's this wheel of fortune about? Six of wands. What's the eight of cups reverse about? 
Why is the Eight of Cups reverse here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Eight of Cups reverse? Two. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah. I feel like this was someone that, that had someone else or left the third party. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. They might have been married. I have the Ten of Pentacles here, the Queen of uh, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. I get one more for the Eight of Cups reverse. King of Cups, yeah. Someone's doing this because they already care about someone else or they have their eyes on someone else. Maybe they never stopped caring about you even though things, you know, happened the way they did, Aries. I think this is a situation where someone could have walked away from you or maybe it just didn't work out in the past and they went somewhere else and I think the whole time they were over there, they still thought about you. So that when this ends or something changes for this person, I think it's an ending, um, the first person they think about is you. Um, otherwise, I'm going to leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and um, your lovely comments. Thank you so much for those of you who leave such kind comments. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.